support Wrestle Talk. Hello and welcome to Royal Rumble 2020 predictions time. It's Wrestle Talk's office. It's a new look for the predictions, and we're going to go through and do a new way of trying to tell you what we think is going to happen in WWE this Sunday. Let us know your feedback down below. Of course, press the thumbs up button, give us a subscribe. Don't be too nasty and comment down below with what you think is going to happen. Yeah, don't truthfully tell us what you think. Is <laughs> <laughs> what, what Ollie's saying there. So, Patreon. And also Patreon. We've got Wrestle League. If you go over to our Patreon page, become a $5 or more pledge hammer there, you can participate against us in the predictions. In a thing called Wrestle League. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to kick off with the Women's Royal Rumble match. So far, we're recording this after Raw, there have only been four announced competitors because it seems WWE really do care about the women's division outside of Ronda Rousey being there. We've got Charlotte Flair, Alexa Bliss, Nikki Cross and Sarah Logan. I'm not going to pick any of those though. I'm going to go for Shayna Baszler. The Women's Rumble, otherwise known as the Womble. Shayna Baszler. Surely it would be Wumble. The Wumble. <laughs> Wumble in free. <laughs> the Wumbles of Wimbledon come and we. Shayna Baszler. I'm also thinking Shayna Baszler. Gives Becky in that. Well, those predictions are about as diverse as the BAFTAs. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we've got our SmackDown Championship match between The Fiend Bray Wyatt and Daniel Bryan in a strap on match. <laughs> Sorry, I misread that. It's. Uh, a dildo match. <laughs> <laughs> Who could put the harness on? <laughs> come on, come on, let me in! <laughs> and was, uh, oh, is it a rambling rabbit? <laughs> At this point, it's almost impossible to bet against the fiend, so I'm going with the fiend. I don't know how a strap match works. How do you? Is it? Do you, do you pin? Is it? The, so they're tied together. Yeah. Is it, is it the one with the lights? Is it? What, and then they go like to the four corners know, yeah. and they pick them off? <laughs> All they've said is well, like the end of Fort Boyard. Like, <laughs> the Fiend's going to win, surely. Uh, I'm also going for The Fiend because I don't think Brian's going to win. Boo! Fiend, pick a different <laughs> one. Stop, Stop copying his chopper. It's so basic. I'm the one who watches Smackdown in this office. Oh. So do we. And you watch it all the time, thanks, Pete. I love Smackdown. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's my favourite. Right, so my prediction is also going to be The Fiend, and I think that's going to Boo, somehow... stop copying! I think that's somehow going to set up Fiend versus Kane at Saudi Arabia. Maybe a Brothers of Destruction tag team thing against The Fiend, but ultimately what I want to see more than anything is Undertaker versus The Fiend at WrestleMania. Ew! Becky Lynch versus Asuka. Becky Lynch versus Asuka is a match predicated on the idea that Asuka is one of the only women to have defeated Becky Lynch in a sort of stat that WWE forgot that they had. And then they thought, oh, there's that stat, isn't there? So we should start a feud based on that. Asuka, despite having a little bit of a push with the, the tag team titles, isn't exactly, you know, the Asuka, the, the NXT one, so. You've got this, bro. It's, it's, it's <laughs> Becky, isn't it? It's Becky. <laughs> Uh, I'm also going for Becky Lynch in this one because Shayna Baszler in that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for Becky because I think she's going to hold the title until Mania. It's going to be a year-long reign of the Raw title and she's going to beat Asuka in a big redemption story. What, at Mania? No. Oh, right, I mean, sorry. I, I think you said she's going to beat her at the Mania. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, Becky Lynch as well, obviously. <laughs> I think, yeah, that she needs to get... I, th I do, I believe in the redemption storyline. But it's not really a redemption storyline. It's WWE it has accidentally not had Becky beat Asuka, so they need to do that quick. It's the Daniel Bryan WrestleMania 30 story all over again. It's a story that they didn't know they were telling until they were like, oh yeah, it's what we were doing all along. And this time it proves that man's is better than woman's. <laughs> <laughs> over on SmackDown, we've got Roman Reigns versus King Corbin in a Fool's Count Anywhere match. I'll go first on this one. It's the Royal Rumble. King Corbin is going to win. I'm also going to go with King Corbin on this one. I think that uh, the mid-card Vortex are going to beat up Roman real, real bad. So he's going to really struggle when he gets into the Royal Rumble when then he eventually wins it. Spoil spoilers for everyone picking for the Rumble. But I'm picking Baron Corbin now. Or King Corbin, whatever his name is. Jester Corbin. Baroness Corbin. <laughs> Corbinite. I'm going for Roman Reigns for this what? one. Because, this is why you're last, Pete. Because 
This is where the story ends for them. Roman Reigns is going to go over strong. It's false count anywhere, which means the Usos are going to get involved. So it's basically a three on three match with Corbin and his Corbin Knights. And then they're going to have Roman win the Rumble as well. Spoilers for my pick for that. And then Roman's going to go off and start his feud with The Fiend. There's two more pay-per-views to do more Roman Corbin stuff. But it's gone for so long! Yep. Maybe it's a hopeful well, pick. Smackdown. I just don't want to watch more Smackdown of Roman and Corbin. Please. The only logical solution to this match being a false count anywhere is that they end up in a pet store. <laughs> oh, that would be oh, so good! Yes. Yes. It's, 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 it's like the dogs doing tea. tea. It's, it's, they're going to go to a pet store and they're going to brawl through an aquarium. Uh, Punch a dog. How much of the <laughs> uh, I think Corbin's going to win. Probably the most anticipated match, another SmackDown one, Shorty G versus Sheamus. <laughs> I forgot this was on the card. We talked about this 10 minutes ago and yeah, I yeah. forgot it already. I love Sheamus. I'm glad he's back. Unfortunately, Shorty G is going to be sacrificed at the altar of him. Uh, and I, I think very quickly, I think it'll be a brogue kick and then it's done. I'm also going to go with Sheamus on this one. Very quick, there are too many matches on this card that are not Royal Rumble based. This needs to go 10 seconds at most. Bro kick, Sheamus wins. Sheamus wins, 10 seconds, bro kick, thanks, bye. But if Sheamus does win with a bro kick in 10 <laughs> seconds, what is Shorty G going to do? Because the whole character idea was to turn him into like a basketball playing toddler. And then they <laughs> said, oh yeah, you're now called Shorty G because you're owning how short you are, Chad. So unless it's going to be a storyline about bullying, what else is Shorty G going to do? Seems to someone else. is going to win the match, but he's going to make a team with Mustafa Ali. Surely it's got to be Ali G. I don't oh, get the reference. Yeah, mm. He could just duck the bro kick. <laughs> it goes over it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Then we've got another SmackDown match. Bailey as the champion. So many matches on this card. Versus Lacey so Evans. Many matches. You know what? I'm gonna go bold. Lacey Evans wins, and it somehow sets up her versus Sasha Banks on the road to WrestleMania. I feel like we predicted too many of the same thing. It's me and Pete at the bottom of WrestleMania. <laughs> it's a race and to I the bottom. I need to get. <laughs> I need to change things up. This is a tactical vote. I think Race to the Bottom is also the tagline for The Fiend versus Daniel Bryan match. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I mean, I know you said you want to pick someone different, but I was also going to pick Lacey Evans. Oh, oh. But I'll, I'll tell you what, for the sake of that, I'm going to go with Bailey retaining, because uh, I think they're going to do Bailey Sasha at WrestleMania. Oh, she's that's blonde. fan service. She's blonde. Mm. I'm sticking with Bailey. Nah, it's a terrible idea. I'm sticking with Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> So, you need to stop doing bold picks, Ollie, because you ruin all my bold picks. Because I'm going Lacey Evans. Oh, <laughs> because I'm I think staying at the bottom. They, they, they really want Evans to get over because Marines and salutes and patriotism. It's it should be a finisher rather than the women's right. Oh, just, oh. Just oh. What a bump. Thank you. We can do that in your office. <laughs> <laughs> so much room for <laughs> This is a battle of crap finisher. Um, oh, <laughs> Bailey. The women's right's good. No, it's not. It's, oh, I it like is, the it is growing on me. It's a I good hate I don't okay, like man. women's rights. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey. Just when you think you have the answers, <laughs> Laurie comes in and changes the culture <laughs> to a more Saudi Arabian culture. <laughs> uh, the men's Royal Rumble match oh, is the one I'll kind of finish on. Brock Lesnar is going to enter at number one. And here's my final bold pick. Brock Lesnar, because this is WWE, and he won the Money in the Bank briefcase in a match he wasn't even in, is gonna win the Royal Rumble. Oof. I know, I know you're probably thinking, but that means there'll be no contenders for him, legitimately, at WrestleMania. And that's right. They're gonna bury their entire roster, and then bring back Cain Velasquez and we'll get the rematch there. It's too, too late. Cain Velasquez is coming in at number two and taking him out straight away. Ooh. Absolutely. One, I, I, well, I don't know, not man. number two, yeah. but I'm pretty yeah. sure that Cain Velasquez is coming in very early to take out Lesnar to set up their Mania match, uh, which means I'm going for Roman Reigns to win the Royal Rumble, where I'm sure he'll get a much better reception than he did last time. And then we're on the road to WrestleMania where Roman Reigns conquers uh, the Fiends and wins the Blue Universal Championship. It's yeah. not a prediction, it's a spoiler, I think. Uh, I'm also going to go for Roman Reigns winning, but also I'm going to have special bonus prediction. I think Elias is coming in number two because he's been doing a load of songs running down Lesnar for some reason on SmackDown. So he's going to come in at number two and he's just going to get annihilated. Well, wouldn't that just make a lot of sense? <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm going to say Seth Rollins. Huh? That's a weird pick. So, bonus prediction, name a surprise entrant in the Royal Rumble. Easy money, Mickey James. <laughs> uh, Nia Jax. Tony Storm. Vince Russo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, let's go with Lita. Like I said, let us know what you think of this format in the comments down below. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Share it around and head over to Patreon where you can participate against us in wrestling predictions in Wrestle League. But click the videos that have just appeared on the desk to catch up with the latest awesome Wrestle Talk things and this button right here, I think. Which will what be the desk are you one. talking about? Oh, I, I've just gone into you play, the, somewhere the on the screen. <laughs> the somewhere on the screen, there's it's a video buttons. here. Press here, them. potentially here or here. Subscribe, Patreon. I've been Ollie Davis. That was wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>